Well, tight budgets continue to cripple North Texas school districts. Last night, leaders in Capel ISD made the hard decision to close one of its oldest schools in the district. Janelle Fort joins us live outside of Pinkerton Elementary School. And Janelle, we heard from passionate students and parents. Yeah, Karen Dia, that meeting last night lasted for hours and parents and even a board member ended up crying when the district ultimately decided to close Pinkerton. There was a lot of debate that went into this before that decision was made. 58 people spoke during the public comment in a last ditch effort to save the school, including several students too small to even reach the podium. What's driving the closure is a projected $6.8 million budget deficit in Capel ISD and declining enrollment. By the district's calculations, they could save a little over $2 million closing Pinkerton and relocating those students to nearby Austin and Wilson Elementary Schools. They'll now have to figure out what's next for the International Baccalaureate program housed at Pinkerton. They were also supposed to vote on a plan to consolidate its bilingual dual language programs into just one campus, which would save about $280,000. But that was tabled for a later date following community concerns about access. Did you listen to the parents at the town hall who in English and Spanish pleaded with you to not move their kids? We're not going to make everybody happy. And we, you know, we're, we're searching. I, I believe we're searching for a perfect answer where there is no perfect answer. And again, I think it's important to reiterate that this is not an issue that is unique to Capel. This is happening to school districts all across Texas and Pinkerton will close ahead of next school year. Kara, back to you. Yeah, and I'm sure this will not be the last one we cover. Thanks, Janelle. So we have seen this play out in other districts, as she mentioned. Earlier this year, Plano ISD voted to close four of its schools to save money. Richardson and Fort Worth ISD also made similar moves due to budget issues and declining enrollment.